This video is going to show you how to set up your FDR flow meter for the first time. Everything referenced in this video will be taken from the FDR instruction manual as well as the FDR installation guides found on the Keyence website. When choosing an installation location, follow the recommendations on the installation guide for orientation on the pipe and distance away from obstructions. Start by attaching your lower bracket. Wrap the metal mounting straps of the upper bracket around the tabs of the lower bracket and insert those metal straps into the screw brackets. Be sure that the upper and lower bracket are aligned on both sides so everything is straight on the pipe. Next, tighten both screws so that the entire bracket is evenly secured to the pipe and close the screw covers. Attach your main unit with the two screws included with the unit and attach your main unit to subunit series connection cable. Finally, screw on the last cable and apply power to the unit. Once power is applied to the FDR unit, you will be greeted with the initial settings menu. The first couple options will be referencing the year, month, day, and time that the unit should be in so that it can properly record data to the full-time recording function. Next, you can select the function of your output one wire as being a binary output, or a 4 to 20 or 0 to 20 milliamp analog output. After that, select the function of your channel 2 or output 2 wire as being off, again an analog 4 to 20 or 0 to 20 milliamp output, an external input to the FDR, or a secondary discrete output. Configure the signal that you need to come from these discrete outputs as being a PNP 24 volt output or an NPN 0 volt output. Set the direction at which the flow of the liquid is going as either being from left to right or from right to left. Next, set the units at which you need the flow meter to read in. If gallons is preferred, hold the mode and down arrow key and turn on gallons for a unit. Now you can select liters a minute, gallons a minute, or meters cubed per hour. You will also need to select the temperature units as either being C for Celsius or F for Fahrenheit. Finally, select the pipe size applicable to the FDR and the application. Tap mode twice to confirm and say all of those initial settings. If at any point you need to change or modify any of those initial settings, hold the mode and tap the up arrow key five times. Reset should be displayed. Tap the up arrow once to cycle to yes, and tap the mode button one more time to initialize and bring the unit back to a factory default state. By default, the unit will be set to the instantaneous flow rate display screen where the bottom number is your threshold and the top number is your current flow rate. Tap mode to switch displays. Here we can see hold values where the top number is your peak instantaneous flow rate and the bottom number is your bottom instantaneous flow rate at a given time. Next is total where the bottom number is your threshold and the top number is the total amount of liquid flown past the unit. The next display is flow temperature display where the bottom number is the temperature of the liquid in the pipe, and the top number is your current flow rate. Finally, we can see our temperature hold display, where the top number is your peak or highest temperature at a given time, and the bottom number is your lowest temperature at a given time. To select the function of your channel 1 or output 1 wire, hold the mode key to enter the menu structure. By default, we'll see STD for standard or instantaneous flow rate. 
Tap the up arrow to cycle the different menu options. Here we can see total where the output turns on and stays on once we hit the total threshold value. Pulse will turn the output on and then back off after a certain amount of liquid has passed the FDR. In the area detection mode, you set a lower and upper limit of instantaneous flow rate, and when the liquid at the current flow rate is in between those values, the output will stay on. When configuring your initial settings, if you selected analog for your channel 2 or channel 1 wire, hold the mode key to enter the menu structure. Tap mode twice to see whether you need to select a 4 to 20 or a 0 to 20 milliamp analog output. After this, we're going to scale our analog output. Tap mode to select whether you're looking at flow over analog or temperature over the analog output. Once selected, tap mode one more time. You can see our A-low value, which is our 4 milliamp or 0 milliamp value. We can cycle that to whatever we need our scale to be. Tap mode one more time. You should see A-high, which is your 20 milliamp value. And again, you can scale this to whatever value you need so that your PLC or analog input device recognizes that scale of the FDR. Press and hold mode to confirm all of these selections and save your settings to go back to the main display screen. As always, if any additional questions come up, please reach out to your local product specialist or give our tech support team a call. Have a great rest of your day.